Mark, thank you. School is right around the corner for many kids across the region. Unicoi County schools begin in exactly a week with a half day on August 7th. And here to tell us everything you need to know before the school year begins is Director of Unicoi County Schools, Mr. John English. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Well, I know that this is a busy week for you, so we appreciate you for taking some time to come here. So we'll go ahead and get right to it. I know that school safety is on the minds of you, all the everyone at the school system all the time and parents. Tell us what you want families to know as you are heading back into the school year when it comes to safety. Well, like you said, safety is always at the forefront in all of our discussions, but certainly this summer uh, we, we really, with some of the laws that were passed down mm -hmm. from the governor and from legislation, we really went to work. And, and I will say we're very blessed and fortunate in Unicoi County. Both of our, all of our law enforcement agencies work really well together. We've got an active uh, response team, and I've been able to spend a lot of time this summer with all of those groups. They've been in all of our schools training and preparing and, and just getting ready for those scenarios that you hope never come. But mm -hmm. if they do, you want to make sure we've got good plans and good people. And, and, and I just would want our families to know there's been a lot of work, a lot of thought, a lot of planning to go into making sure our kids are safe. And let's talk a little bit about what happens when it comes to checking in and how many SROs you're going to have facilitating uh, in the schools. Well, we've again, we've always been really fortunate. Our, our, our commission, our, our, our police forces have always made sure we had an SRO in every school. Awesome. That will certainly continue, but this year there will be additional staff in and out. And there's been a commitment made uh, to have a lot of times multiple officers there. And so that, that's a relief, you know, just mm -hmm. to know that there's not just one. So there's just a lot of um, effort and planning that's gone into making sure that people's schedules allow for, for most of the time there to be multiple people on site. And so that, that's, that's a change. We've always had at least one, but we'll have more than one a lot of times this year. And I know that we're gonna go ahead and switch some gears now. I know that another topic on everyone's mind is the third grade retention law and how it impacted you not only last school year, but what it's going to look like this year. Let's talk a little bit about what your TCAP numbers were and what that means for the school year? Well, overall, we were really pleased with our mm -hmm. TCAP results this year. We saw a lot of growth um, in a lot of areas, and so just a credit to the hard work of our teachers and administration for that. Third grade retention promotion specifically impacted us. Like for this coming school year, 99% of last year's third graders are going on to fourth grade. Okay. So either through appeals or summer learning or tutoring. Um, but you know, I was really proud of not only our side of things with our teachers and principals, but our parents. You know, it was a new law. Yeah. It, there was a lot of changes that kept coming out and, and how that was gonna be put in play. And I was really proud of the response of both our side and the school side, but then our parents and families, they were very, um, collaborative with us and planning on what was best for their kid and how we were going to navigate that and you know that's what we'll continue to do I mean communication with families is the key to everything but certainly when a new law comes out that impacts kids the way that does mm -hmm. you have to make sure that everybody's on the same page well I know that there is a lot when it comes to a new school year is there anything you want parents to know or is there are there any new programs or anything of that nature that you want your families to be aware of well you know we, we, we've spent a lot of summer planning for, for new things for our families for our students and we're excited to roll that out and get our kids in. Um, you know, we're in the kid business, so we have to have students in our buildings, and so we're excited to get them back. I would just encourage our families to, to communicate with us. You know, this is a partnership that we value. You know, they entrust their kids with us, their education with us, and so we just encourage them to keep that line of communication open throughout the year if they have questions or concerns or there's something that's going on that we need to know about. Again, we've got to work together to make sure that, that we provide our kids the best education possible in the safest environment possible. And, and it's, it's a collaborative effort that we take a lot of pride in. So we encourage them to reach out to us. Absolutely. Well, again, happy last week of summer and congratulations on another school year. Thank you for coming here on First at Four. But again, don't forget, Unicoi County Schools, you head back next week on Monday. Students have a half day with early dismissal. The first full day for students is next Tuesday, August the 8th.